What's up pet people, my name is Wetsia and welcome back to my channel. So for today's video, if you can't tell by the title, we're going to be covering a topic that I didn't know existed um, until I needed one and that's a cat inhaler. Uh, yeah, my cat needs an inhaler, so what we're going to be doing in this video is we're going to be going over how that works and why he needed it. Basically, I'm going to show you how to use a cat inhaler because I didn't know, I had to ask my vet how to, um, and my vet showed me, thank God, because there are not a lot of videos on the internet on how to administer an inhaler to your cat, so... Yeah, we're just gonna get right into the video then. Please keep watching. Okay, so before I get into showing you how to administer a cat inhaler, I'm gonna do a quick little background on why my cat needs one and how we ended up needing to get this inhaler in the first place. So, long story short, whenever I adopted him, he had a lot of nasal issues. He would constantly breathe really loud. You would hear he had kind of like a little mucus in there, and he would sneeze all the time. So, of course, I took him to the vet many, many, many times, and each time they're like, oh, he has a respiratory infection. It's just allergies, da 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 Like, all these different stories, right? And... At first, we tried pills, we tried liquid, we tried little drops you put on his food. Everything under the sun, I thought, everything under the sun to try and help him with his allergies or his respiratory infection or whatever it was. Anyway, um, trying to give him pills was like asking to be murdered. He would claw you up, he would, you know, throw a big fit, he would try to bite you, it was a mess. And same thing with the liquid. Half the time you wouldn't even get the liquid into his mouth because he'd move his head, you know, last minute. So I went to my vet two weeks ago and I asked, I was like, hey, is there anything that could help me get him his medicine easier? Is there anything we could do? Could we do like shots? Could, you know, something to help my cat stop um, sneezing and having a hard time breathing? And she's like, well, shots has a lot of long-term effects, such as it could cause diabetes, it could cause, you know, skin problems, and she went on with the side effects, and I've, I just decided it wasn't worth it, and long-term, like, yeah, he wouldn't sneeze, but man, I really don't want to buy another cat insulin, and I'll do a story on that another time, but... I was like, okay, well, what are some other options? And she goes, well, you could give him an inhaler. And I was like, okay, um, an inhaler. She's like, yeah, you can give him an inhaler twice a day for four months and then once a day after that until it clears up. It's just a little, like, um, Flonase inhaler. So how humans take Flonase, you, you know, squirt it up your nose or whatever, but we can't do that with cats, so they put it into an inhaler and it's called Flovavent. Flovavent, flo, however this is spelled, however you say this. Um... And it comes in an inhaler, a little human inhaler. And I was like, okay, we'll try that. So, flash forward to now, my cat is using an inhaler regularly. Um, and it's a lot easier than I thought. Uh, I posted about it on my Snapchat and on Twitter some. And I had a couple people message me and they're like, an inhaler for your cat? What? So yeah, that's why I'm doing this video now. If you are uh, interested in how that works, gonna show you now. Okay, so pulling out the inhaler, you will notice that, like I said, it is literally just a little human inhaler. Pop the cap off. Just a normal inhaler. But the part that I got kind of weirded out by was what you attach the inhaler to. This is a feline aerosol chamber is its actual name. And what you do with it is you, first you of course shake up your inhaler and then you put it onto the little seal tight chamber thing right here and then you hit it. Um, what I do is I make sure I'm away from my cat whenever I spray it because the sound can be kind of startling and my vet recommended that because a lot of cats don't like the whole little noise or whatever it does. Anyway, so you put it on here, you spray, and then you attach this to your cat's mouth. Um, I would show you with my cat, but 
it's not that he doesn't like it, it's just that he's not a huge fan. So I'm gonna like put it on his face later whenever all this is not attached. Anyway, you put it on his face and then you watch this little flap here on the top. Okay, so you see the little flap here on the top, ignore my ugly nails, and you watch this go back and forth ten times. I will be inserting a clip where it shows you how that works in just a moment. But yeah, you make sure this goes back and forth ten times, and that is ten breaths, and then you are done. So now, of course, whenever you're done using it, you pull off the inhaler from the end. Ooh. Whoops. It's still kind of tight, so you have to, like, jerk it. But anyway, you pull it off from the end, you close your inhaler back, and you put it back in the box. Um, you don't have to put it back in the box. I just, it's easier to keep track of it that way. And these are not cheap, so I recommend keeping track of it. My cat's inhaler was $280. So for the small price of an arm and a leg, your cat will be able to breathe healthily. Um... No, really though, that was one of the cheaper options. I went all over town price checking for his inhaler and $280 was the cheapest option I could find. Because it is a human inhaler, it will have human inhaler prices, which I kind of think is ridiculous, but anything to make sure that your little um, feline friend is feeling better, it's worth it in my opinion. This itself, the vet gave me for free, so I did not need to pay for this. That was pretty great. Um, but I do recommend keeping track of it because you, if you need a replacement, you will have to pay for that one. And your little aerosol chamber comes with the top, which looks like this. And you just clip them together, like if you need to clean them or anything like that. And then they come with the two little nozzles. This is like a kitten size, goes over a kitten's mouth. And then the size that my cat uses is the adult uh, little feline nozzle, I guess is what you would call it. So, yeah, anyway, that's a little story on why my cat needs an inhaler and how to use an inhaler. So, I hope you guys enjoyed this video and learned a little something from it. Um, even if your cat doesn't need an inhaler, I think it's a pretty cool thing to know. Um, anyway, I hope you guys enjoyed it, like I said before, and please hit that subscribe button if you are not already subscribed. And if you like this video, give it a thumbs up. If you didn't like this video... Please still give it a thumbs up. That would be really cool. Anyway, um, yeah, see you for next week's video because there will for sure be a video next week. Um, yeah, thanks for watching. Bye.